To Wormside View. Um, today I am doing a car boot sale horse. It's the first car boot sale we have been to this year. Um, we usually have a really big car boot sale that is set up in our village and I guess because of the weather and because we're on quite marshy land she hasn't run any of the car boot, um, well, any of the car boots at all this year so far. Now this morning I heard a rumour that she's not doing them anymore. Now these have been running for like over 20 years. I mean, I don't know exactly how long, but it's well-known car boot in the area. So I was a bit gutted to hear that we're not gonna have them literally just down the road, but then someone else said she's starting them up next week. So, I don't know, maybe we will, maybe we won't. Anyway, we went out to um, a local town and they have a car boot sale in their field every Sunday and we thought we'd go and have a little look around. It's absolutely sweltering out there. I am sunburnt. <laughs> because I always forget to put cream on myself, put it on the kids, don't put it on me. So yeah, look, it's going to be a bit of a beetroot later. Never mind. So I spent, I think I worked out £8.50 um, on everything I've got. It's mainly clothes and books, um, but that's really all I need at the moment. I did look at some of the kids' things for childminding, but I've got loads of stuff anyway. Um, and there's not really much else I need. So we'll start with a book I picked up for Kenzie. This was 50p. It is one of the Pokemon books. He really likes these, the Japanese style. They kind of, apparently they go forwards and backwards. You kind of have to turn them over or something and then read the other way or I can't remember. Anyway, um, it's kind of read backwards. It's a bit weird. But anyway, he's really pleased. That's uh, usually 6 99 in the shops. So 50p is a really good bargain. Um, anyway, then I picked up this book from a really lovely lady. I bought a few things from her actually. So I picked this book up. Um, it is Finding Audrey by Sophie Kinsella. Now I haven't read any of her books, um, but the woman who sold me this said she's read loads of her books and they're really, really good. So she ended up handing me these two as well and say, take all three for 50p. Um, and read them all. She said she was laughing out loud. This is not her best book, she said, um, but some of the others, there's two that she really recommended I get, which was I've Got Your Number and, oh, do you know, I knew I should have written it down. I can't remember the other one. Um, I've Got Your Number and something else. And she said they were literally, she was laughing out loud reading them. Anyway, this one says, my chest is starting to rise in panic. Tears have already started in my eyes. My throat feels frozen. I need to escape. Audrey can't leave the house. She can't even take off her dark glasses inside the house. I'm Linus, your Audrey, right? Then her brother's friend Linus stumbles into her life. With his smile and funny notes, he starts to entice Audrey out again. Well, Starbucks, Starbucks is a start. Do you always wear those? He nods at her dark glasses. Um, laugh, dream and hope with Audrey as she learns that even when you feel you're lost, you've lost yourself, love can still find you. So I kind of thought that was a nice, it's, I mean, I'm not, I'm not into sappy love stories, but um, this sounded interesting because it sounds like a bit sort of an agoraphobia, anxiety type background to it, which is something interesting. Um, and then I did look at these two and I wasn't going to get them because they're a bit too lovey-dovey for me, but actually when she gave me all three for 50p, I was like, well, I'll give them a go. So this one is um, Wedding Night. Uh, and it's all gone wrong with the man Lottie thought was Mr. Right. Then out of the blue, she gets a call from her first love. She decides it must be fate and rushes off to marry him and rekindle their sizzling Greek island romance. Lottie's older sister can't believe she's doing something so crazy. No more Mrs. Nice Sister. She's stopping this marriage right away and she'll go to any lengths to do so. So it's that one. And this one, Shopaholic to the Rescue, is Becky Brandon, Nee Bloomwood, 
is on a major rescue mission. Hollywood was full of surprises and now she's on a road trip to Las Vegas to help her friends and family. She's determined to get to the bottom of why her dad has mysteriously disappeared, help her best friend Suze and even bond with Alicia Bitch Long Legs. <laughs> Maybe. As Becky discovers just how much her friends and family need help, she comes up with her biggest, boldest, most brilliant plan yet. So can she save the day just when they need her most? So that sounds like a, like a light-hearted, easy read. Okay, this one I picked up. So I got those three for 50p. Um, this one was 50p. This was, uh, this is The Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. Uh, what, who are you? What have you done to each other? Those are the questions Nick June finds himself asking on the morning of his fifth wedding anniversary when his wife Amy suddenly disappears. The police suspect Nick. Amy's friends reveal that she was afraid of him and that she kept secrets from him. He swears it isn't true. A police examination of his computer shows strange searches. He says they weren't made by him, but then there are the persistent calls on his mobile phone. So what did happen to Nick's beautiful wife? So that sounds like a really good thriller. And it was voted thriller of the year by The Observer. So get that one in, I think. Uh, this one, Nick Hornby, um, A Long Way Down. This one, again, was 50p. Um, so this is, uh, can I explain why I wanted to jump off the top of a tower block? For disgraced TV presenter Martin Sharp, the answer is pretty simple. He has, in his own words, pissed his life away. And on New Year's Eve, he's going to end it all, but not as it happens alone. Because first single mum Maureen and then 18 year old Jess and lastly an American rock god JJ turn up and crash Martin's private party. They've stolen his idea, but brought their own reasons. Yet it's hard to jump when you're, you've got an audience queuing impatiently behind you. A few heated words and some slices of cold pizza later and these four strangers are suddenly allies. But is their unlikely friendship a good enough reason to carry on living? So this actually sounds like a really good read. You know, when life's got so bad, you're about to jump off a building and then, you know, you've got a bunch of other people waiting to do the same thing. Kind of takes the, the, the moment away and hopefully saves their lives. So that sounded really good. I'm not going to go through all these books and their background. Um, so was this one, two, three, four, five? Okay, so then I picked up this one. Um, the Ex-Wife Survival Guide by, what does that say? Libby, Libby Holt, I think. Um, so I'm going to go give that one a go. And then I picked up five books for a pound, which was a good, good bargain. So I initially saw this one, The Night Rainbow, and The Adultery Club. Those ones were the ones that I first picked up. And then I thought, well, actually, you know, for a, for a fiver, I might as well try and, uh, for a pound, for five, I might as well try and find another three. Uh, this one is, this one sounds really good. And I will do, um, if you check out my book reviews, then you'll find out more about these other books as well. Because um, as I read them, I will, um, I will review them afterwards. Uh, this one, Ready or Not, by Chris Mamby, and Girlfriend 44 by Mark Barrowcliffe. Barrowcliffe? Yeah, Barrowcliffe. So those are those. Then I picked up, no, I'm not hiding any secrets. I am not having any more children. Um, I picked up three baby grows in teeny tiny size because um, the baby grows I've got for the dolls are all a bit sort of purpley pinky and I don't think that really not that I'm all for the whole pink per you know pink is girls and all the rest of it you know I, I don't go with that but I don't think it entices the boys to get as involved with the dressing the dolls and what have you um and they do enjoy the dolls so I thought it would be nice to have sort of something you know different to dress the dolls in something a bit more bright primary colors a bit more neutral so I've gone with some baby grows. They were 50p, I think, for the three of them. Then um, I don't go out very often. Um, I'm not one of these like dressing up and going out partying and uh, people stress me a little bit. So um, I like my own space. But um, I did go out. Um, when was it? When did I need to take my handbag out? It was for the funeral, for my father-in-law's funeral. I had to get my little handbag that I wear with whatever it is that I'm going, I have one handbag for going out. Um, just a little black bag that I've had years and years and years and the clip isn't working anymore. 
So I've been on the lookout for a new one and I thought this was nice, small, neutral, uh, got lots of little pockets in it and would pretty much go with anything if I was to go out for an evening and just needed something to put my phone in and maybe a lipstick and some money. So that was a pound. And then I picked up, now I haven't tried any of these tops on. I'm hoping they'll fit me. If not, I'll just give them straight to charity and you know, they can get the money. But I picked this one up for 50p. So I thought that was quite good. More issues than Vogue. It's just a little vesty top, lightweight. So I'm hoping the sun will stay out and I can wear that one. Um, again, just a basic vest top, 50p. Um, it looks like it might be a bit big, but I'm sure if it goes through the tumble dryer, it will shrink up a little bit. Um, the woman thought it was probably a 14, but I'm looking at that thinking it's actually probably a 16, so it might be a bit big on me. But like I said, shrink it up. If not, I'm sure it will be fine as an oversized vest top, 50p. Then this one I saw was beautiful. This is the um, Peruna, so it's Marks and Spencers. This is a size 14. Um, and I just think it's really pretty. Look at that, shimmery. So it's got all these different sort of bits that make up the picture, but they're all sort of, I don't know what's the word. You can see, I don't need to explain it, you can see it. And that was a pound, and I really think that one will fit me. I'm hoping it'll look nice as well. Um, and then I saw this, and I don't have many jumpers because I get really hot, but I just wanted something lightweight, and this is really, I like the cut of it like the flowy sleeves again this is a peruna one so this is a marks and spencers um i love the color of it i think it's really sweet color or colors nice pastels um that is an extra large so i'm sure it will fit me um if not be a bit too big for me but again i don't mind with jumpers if they're oversized because i can't stand anything tight fitting and that was a pound so yeah, I'm going to chuck these in the wash and then try them on. And if they don't fit, then I'll just pass them on to charity. Um, so those were my bargains for my car boot sale. Um, we are going to have a look tomorrow and see if there's any more car boot sales near us. I shouldn't really buy any more books, but who knows? I keep saying that and I keep buying books. So um, yeah, I guess we'll find out tomorrow, won't we? <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye. I totally forgot to show you these guys. These are cute little soldiers, little wooden soldier peg dolls. And I got those three for a pound.